And building on our security story, welcome back to this video on integrating Azure Key Vault with Azure Pipelines. In this video, we're going to talk about how we can leverage Azure Key Vault, which is a secret and key management solution within Azure, to integrate within our Azure Pipelines. So physically, no keys or secrets exchange hand between developers and ops. Now, let me make this real and give you an example of a customer that I worked for a few years back. And that customer had very high standards of security. I mean, service accounts needed to have 26 character passwords. But interesting enough, the service account passwords were stored in config files, which were stored in uh, shared parts that were accessible by everyone. I mean, what's the point of having a 26 character password if that password is available just to everyone? Now, just building on from there, you know, it would have been more effective to maybe have 10 character passwords, but for no one to really need to know the password, only if that could be centrally stored and be integratable and accessible on need basis by systems that needed to interact with it. And that's exactly the idea behind Azure Key Vault. So let's get into the implementation of how Azure Key Vault works by jumping into the demo. I'm going to use the Azure Shell uh, to create a new resource group. And then within that resource group, I'm going to create a new Azure Key Vault and then create a new secret within that Key Vault. Once we get to that state, we'll flip over to Azure DevOps, integrate Azure DevOps pipelines with the Key Vault so that the secrets can flow from Key Vault into pipelines without changing hands. As you can see that the Key Vault uh, create operation comes with various options. You have the option of specifying a name, specifying a resource group at the very minimum. These are required fields. But apart from that, there is a whole array of um, options here that you could choose from. For example, whether you want soft deletes, enabled, disk encryption enabled, what's queue, etc. We're just going to go with the basic required tags for now. Great, and with that, the Azure Key Vault created. Let's go about creating a secret. All right, let's have a look at this command. So we're saying within the Azure Key Vault, we want to create a new secret. The name of the secret is, let's say, a service account. Uh, let's pass a value uh, that we need to store securely. And then let's store. Uh, the uh, description so that if we come back to it later, we know the intent for which we created that uh, secret in the first place. And then we just need to specify the name of the key vault where we want to push this. So scrolling up, we can see that the name of the key vault is KV Vault 003. Perfect. So with this, the key vault has a secret now. All right. So let's navigate back. So now that we're in the context of Azure Pipelines, I'll come in and select the library. And as we come into the library section, we have an option of creating a variable group. Let's call this variable group parts unlimited dev config. Now within this variable group, you have the option of linking an Azure Key Vault to it. Let's select the subscription. Now, this is to make sure that Azure DevOps is aware of the location of the key vaults. Therefore, we're passing the uh, Azure subscription ID. And you just need to have the right level of access to the Azure subscription and to the key vaults. Next, let's select the key vault that we created. We have to authorize um, Azure DevOps to be able to access that key vault. 
Therefore, let's just go through the workflow and provide that authorization. Great. Now, if I click the plus option, I can see the secret that I'd created. I have the option of selecting the secret and adding it to the variable group. Now, you see in the screen, while I can see the secret name, the value is not really exposed here. Therefore, I as the developer or I as the operation engineer using the variable group or the key vault don't really know what the password is. All that I care about is that I'm mapping out the correct secret name. With that done, let's save this. Now we're going to go into the build pipeline and create a new pipeline. Let's start off with a very simple pipeline. I'm going to select an empty job and have no real tasks in there because our purpose really isn't to deploy anything, but more so to show the integration of key vaults with the pipeline. So I'm going to go in into the variable section and select the variable group, select the option to map a variable group, select the parts unlimited dev, dev config that we defined. And the moment we do that, you can see that it's imported the values from the key vault into the pipeline. Again, the, pass the password's not exposed here. Now, if I wanted to use this value within my pipeline, I would just have to copy the variable name. Let's add a PowerShell task. And just like that, I can start to use the variable that has been imported. Now, I'm going to trigger this pipeline and then, as a result, show you that this value has been consumed without even exposing this value in the logs. We're just going to wait for this pipeline execution to complete. Okay, with the pipeline execution complete, let's uh, zoom in on the download secret step. This is leveraging the variable group integration to access the key vault and download the secret that's mapped out to this specific value. And then in the PowerShell task, it's encrypted the value. So we saw right from being able to define the secret all the way to being able to import it in the pipeline, consume it in the tasks in no uh, specific way is the password ever exposed. Now, this is the sort of integration that we're talking about. This is the sort of security we're talking about. And these are the sort of practices that will allow you to push security right left into your development process. I encourage you to go and try out key vaults in your own dev processes.